Hey there, how are y'all doing? We are enjoying the fact that it's starting to get warm getting outside a little more. That feels fantastic. Plenty of ability to physically distance ourselves out here on 20 acres in the middle of Indiana. So, tonight I am going to be laying it out. We do not want to come out once we're finally freed from our holes with extra padding, especially in summer. No one needs that. So we are going to talk about how to get it done. So my name is Lainey Stump, and I love to help everyone look better, feel better, have more energy by making better choices in the food they eat and the products that they use. And tonight we are truly talking about the food, how to eat the food, how to have yummy food. Have you tasted my food? It's good food. And you know what? It is good for you too. So this is how we do it. We are going to talk about how you and your family can gain health, trim down, and you don't have to lose your mind while doing it. That sounds good. You're going to fill your table with delicious, filling, comfort foody type meals that meet everyone's needs. You're not going to have to worry about breaking your budget. This is you in the midst of your crazy life doing what your family needs. And you have to eat, right? You need to feed your family. So why not do it in the most healthy, satisfying way possible? Hi, Janine. So the way of eating that I'm going to talk about started with a book called Trim Healthy Mama. It was self-published by a couple of big family mamas back in 2012. I heard about it in March of 2013 and jumped on full force April 1st, 2013, exactly seven years ago today. That book, self-published book, grew by word of mouth, just people talking about it with their friends and on Facebook. The Facebook group that I joined had 2,000 members back then and today has a quarter of a million members. I had every excuse in the book at that time. I have all these kids. I'm on a budget. I don't have time to make myself food and their food, but for some reason I jumped in with both feet. And over the course of six, seven months, I lost 40 pounds. And I did that without exercising. And even though there was a been a pregnancy in the middle of those seven years, I was able to easily lose the weight after the pregnancy. I learned over the course of these seven years the type of food that my body needs and thrives on. It's been a process, but it's been a delicious one. Um, I delight in the food that I am blessed to eat every day. I often will say, this is better than what we would get at a restaurant. And my children that have traveled abroad have come back and thanked me because their palates have been expanded and they were willing and excited to experience the food of other cultures without complaining, which was not exactly what a lot of their traveling companions did. Now, I know that change can seem daunting, right? But this approach is gentle. It is not a boot camp situation. It's not a, you know, however many days shred, you know, okay, none of those types of terms. This is a gentle, lifelong approach, and you get to eat, <laughs> which is what I love to do, what I love to think about. We're not gonna be doing any of the miserable cal calorie counting. You don't have to stay chained in the kitchen. You don't have to worry about blowing a crazy budget. The cookbooks I'm gonna recommend are filled with easy, delicious, trimming meals that the whole family is going to love. Now let's talk about fear for a minute. This diet is not fear-based. Other diets are fear-based. Have you heard things like, you know, you're going to be, you need to be scared of particular food groups, right? Um, low fat um, is the only way to go because fats are evil or carbs are the devil or grains aren't meant for human consumption or meat's going to give you cancer or, or if you eat more than 1300 calories a day you're going to gain weight okay that it's all that fear mm, we are not going to do fear we are not going to live in fear we are going to get rid of that bondage and we are going to embrace food freedom 
So now what are you waiting for? <laughs> you don't want to wait until you feel like your life is going to be perfect because guess what? That never happens, right? You can start little by little in the midst of your crazy life because I know what crazy life looks like, right? You don't have to be a certain type. You don't have to be super crunchy granola mom. If you are, that's fantastic. You don't have to be cook everything from scratch mom. That's not necessary either. You don't have to change for this diet, okay? You can still be you 100%. So first step, it's what I'm talking about all the time. You've got to stabilize your blood sugar. Bringing your blood sugar into healthy balance is the main number one thing to do. The trimming part of this plan will happen once your blood sugar stops swinging from highs to lows, all right? Those crashes, all right? That means you're gonna eat food that has a mild rather than dramatic effect on your blood sugar. Choosing foods that are kind to your blood sugar is known as a low glycemic approach. I did not say low carb, I said low glycemic. You need carbs for the health of your thyroid, your adrenals, brain function, your energy, and countless other body functions. Low carb diets can mess with your entire endocrine system and eventually slow your metabolism. They work in the short term, but over the long term, it can be bad news. We are gonna say goodbye to a few things. White sugar and white flour, which actually acts like sugar in your bloodstream. If you're an adult that needs to lose weight, we're also going to say see you later to potatoes because they tend to spike your blood sugar but they can come back in smaller ways once you're at goal weight. Now, health, uh, children have higher metabolic needs, so they can keep potatoes in their life a little bit more. Sugar cane might be natural, but it's been too abused. It's a harmful addiction for most people. The more you eat, the more you want, and the more your fat cells multiply, and your health suffers. You can overcome sugar's bondage and you don't have to cut out sweet treats to do it. Sugar-free does not mean the use of artificial sweeteners. Those are not part of this plan. You will be sweetening your treats with natural plant-based sweeteners that have zero impact on your blood sugar. Pure stevia or stevia with blends of xylitol and erythritol, which are um, blood sugar, or not blood sugar, which are sugar alcohols that have no effect on your blood sugar, okay? Those are the sweeteners we use. Stevia is just made from the leaf of the stevia plant. It is not to be confused with an artificial sweeteners, okay? Monk fruit is another sweetener that is totally okay. Now, if you've t tasted stevia before and it wasn't for you, please try it again. Not all stevias are equal. You might need to experiment a little to find one that you like and your body does need the opportunity to adjust as you wean off the sugar all right so time to learn the magic are you ready here's how the plan works for weight loss don't eat fats and carbs in the same meal if you want to lose weight that's it all right the beauty of this eating is that you are not going to give up one of your the main fuels your body needs, which are fats and carbs. You'll lose weight because you're only going to metabolize them one at a time. All right? Your meals will feature either fats or carbs, but not both. Your body burns through either fats or carbs alone at a faster rate than when it has to burn both. And once it's burned through, what you've given it in your meal, it's going to look to what you have stored to burn and keep you alive. All right. So there's two different types of meals. All right. You've got your S meal. That's your meal that has fats, it includes yummy fats. Okay. We crave fat and we don't need to be denying ourselves. S meals always include protein, either lean or fatty, but they also can include the yummy fats such as like um, oils, cheese, butter, avocados. S meals are filling and delicious. Think steak, chicken with skin, um, avocado, creamy dressing, nuts. Those are your S meals. Then the other type of meals are E meals. They 
the E stands for energizing because this meal features the carbs that your body needs to boost your energy levels. There are harmful carbs, which are the white flours and white sugars that we talked about before. And then there are helpful carbs. The helpful carbs are gentle on your blood sugar. On this plan, you're only gonna eat helpful ones like fruit, sweet potatoes, beans, brown rice, whole grains like oatmeal. Energizing meals, the E meals, always include protein, only the lean kind, and they don't contain a bunch of fat, okay? Only about a teaspoon, but you're gonna learn to create them in such a yummy way, you're not gonna miss it. So if you need to lose weight, or even if you don't, protein is crucial, all right? Protein is the chief food that your body needs in order to bring that blood sugar into balance. They're gonna anchor every meal, whether it's the carb meal or the fat meal, all right? But you, this is not such a protein-centric meal that you have to spend all your time counting up how many grams of protein you've eaten and stuffing your face with chicken breast to make sure that you get to the point that you need, right? This is a beautifully balanced approach, all right? We're going to juggle our different types of meals. There's no set order for eating S meals and E meals, all right? You can change them up through the week however you want. This is called freestyling. You don't need to go S meal, E meal, S meal, E meal, unless you want to. If you want to, that's fine. Try and tune into what your body is telling you that you need. Do you need a filling, hearty S meal that has those good fats to help you say no to sugar cravings? Or are you dragging and you need some more energy? So you want an e-meal to help boost you up. You can do a whole day of S. You could even do two, but that's about the limit before you need to pull in some of those great carbs. You can do more S than E. Most people want to because, geez. <laughs> but um, you need to be shooting for about five of those emails a week. Personally, because I needed to nourish my thyroid and my adrenal glands, I try and have at least one email every single day, if not two, okay? You also want to be fueling your body with a snack or a meal every three to four hours, all right? Life's not perfect. Life happens, right? It might be five, and we don't beat ourselves up about that. We don't bring on guilt. But try not to let your body go more than about four hours without giving some of some protein that your body needs. How to get started. I recommend starting with breakfast. This is what I tell my clients. For the first week, just do breakfast, all right? Alternate. No special ingredients required. Oatmeal one day, fried eggs the next. That's about as easy as it gets, right? Or maybe you're like me. I jumped in, both feet, never looked back, right? Buy all the ingredients all the time, and let's just go, all right? Just know you're going to make some mistakes as you start, and that's okay. Please give yourself grace. And as you start, do not get all diety, all right? We tend to think, oh, I'm on a diet now. I need to eat less. Mm. You've just changed how you're eating. This is a lifestyle, all right? Fill up and be satisfied. The satisfaction is going to help you beat your sugar cravings. Don't stuff yourself, but eat. You'll be surprised at how protein-centered meals leave you feeling full and complete. L life is very fast-paced, but please try and slow down, sit down, eat and enjoy and savor what you're eating. When you snarf food, you actually release the stress hormone of cortisol and cortisol is in direct opposition to losing weight. So slow down and enjoy your meal and you will release less cortisol. Please enjoy this journey. It's unlike any other diet plan out there because you need to let the trim part of it happen naturally in its own time, all right? Do not base your success only on this. Healthy is just as important as this. Focus on healthy and the trim will happen. Slow and steady, long-term wins this race. Some will lose more quickly than others. Everyone has their own pace. Celebrate every victory that you have. So how to start? Well, first of all, if you're not in there yet, 
join Kim and Lainey's Quarantine Club. I will be doing a much more expanded version of this tomorrow night over there with my buddy Kim, who also is a big proponent of this way of eating. So we're going to be really laying it out. Join the Trim Healthy Mama Facebook group. Okay, it moves fast, but there is tons of fantastic recipes and questions and can really do a lot to help your knowledge in this area. Also, if you want to be inspired, if you're wondering, does this really work? Check out the Trim Healthy Mama author page for other people's testimonies. It is truly amazing. Buy the book. Well, there's four. So which one? I would recommend you start with Trim Healthy Table, all right? Because in this one, there is a description of the program in the beginning and then tons of amazing recipes in the back, all right? that So that's the one, if you're only going to buy one, I personally use all of them all the time. If you think you're going to be more of a person that is cooking just for you or maybe just one other person, you might want to start with the Trim Healthy Cookbook because there's a lot more single serve meals in that one. Frankly, I cook out of both of these books constantly. Like pretty much every day one of those one of my meals is coming from those cookbooks. Um, so start switching the foods you have in your house and purchasing the ingredients that make it easier to make this plan work. All right. If you can only do one or two items a month, do it. If you can go whole hog, clean your pantry, and bring in all the good stuff, do it. All right? Find healthy versions of your favorite recipes on Pinterest or ask me. They are out there. Are you like a tater tot casserole type of a person? I got a version of it. All right? We can make this through. Ask me questions anytime. You can message me. This is what I do all the time. All right? Is talk about this. So, there's also some really, I think, cool bundle packages on the TrimHealthyMama.com website. I'll put links to those in the comments um, that I think are great jumpstart situations to um, kind of get you going on that, including the there's a membership site that you can get a year-long subscription to. And so if a place where you can click the recipes that you want and it gives you a shopping list, if that's your jam, that's what this does. And so that's pretty cool too. There's also a Trim Healthy Mama app that's totally free. You might want to download that. So now by doing this, you are choosing food freedom, food, food, food peace. All right. Fear, self-loathing, not part of this plan. We are not doing this plan because you hate your body and wish it were completely different. You are doing this plan because you are fearfully and wonderfully made and because you need and want to honor your unique body. We're going to stop self-loathing and start self-honoring. And I am so excited and cannot wait to see the amazing things that you are going to do. So that's all I have for you tonight. Please share this video and I will be talking to you. Bye.